Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I know everybody's busy talking. It's great to see everyone saying hello to people you've not seen in a long time. But if you would, try and grab your neighbor's attention, just like the Egyptian. Yep, walk grab like an neighbor. Egyptian and get their attention. Eyes front, please. And a very good evening to all of you, and welcome. It is going to be a truly exciting night, right? What is it, September 25th, 21st? I don't know. How many of you is your first time coming to the Reach? All right, how many of you are seeing the live performance for the first time? I see a good number of you. Yep. This is the first time. Is this your first time, Michelle? Uh, sort of, yeah. Yeah, and I know that the Kennedy Center is famous for their performances at 6 o'clock at the Millennium Stage. You know, they give free performances every evening. And so instead of the Millennium Stage, we're using the REACH uh, facilities. So let me introduce myself. My name is Tyrone Giordano, and I work with the National Theater of the Deaf. I am on their board. And Hello, everyone. I am Michelle Banks. I am the artistic director for VOCA. That's the visionaries of the creative arts. I am thrilled to see all of your beautiful faces here. We are all together looking forward to the performances. I know you are ready. Or is everyone looking forward to it? All right, well, we have a wonderful lineup for tonight. Great performers. First and foremost, we wanna thank DJ Hear No Evil for giving us that music a little bit earlier. He'll play again after our performances for about a half hour or so. So just stick around after the performances for the dance party, all right? I would like to introduce our first performer. Who do we have coming to the stage, Ty? Mervyn Primo O'Brien. Mervyn is an awesome dancer choreographer, actor, wow, lots of different skills, all in one person. And he also is an advocate for people who are deaf. He is rainbow famous, right? That's how he describes himself? And queer fabulous. And what else do we want to say about him? I think we've said enough. Give a warm welcome to Mervyn Primrose. Take the stage, Mervyn. Hello, hello everyone. Good evening to everyone. I have a poem called Take Back My Power. And this is my sign for Take Back My Power, okay? This is my stage. Thank you. Okay, now we're back. Every inch of the theft, every last second of my breath, and all the scratches off of my hands. But deep down lies an innocence who wants to be identified. I am a Creole African American. I'm taking my time, I'm enjoying this. Hello. And I am educated and successful. I am non-binary. I was so proud to be deaf 
with a special talent. I am a straightforward person. There are no surprises with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, are there more honest people in the world? I'm curious, why are people so cold and so bitter? You only have one life to live. So why don't you, so why don't people spend it trying to make the world a better place? People may say many things about me since uh, I do me. <laughs> but at least I handle the important things, like waiting like a child in need, raising its head at least to be crowned. I take back my power. I know I'm not for everyone. But at the end of the day, I'm happy to be where I am in life, very independent. So today, I'm taking back my power. I've let you control my heart and mind. I've struggled every day. But for the first time today, I realize I've given my power away. My God, uh, I've been trying to explain everything in the entire world that you've done to me. I'm tired of living in these darkest moments. Well, you thought it was okay. You thought it was picture perfect. You're wrong. You caused that living pain that burned inside of me. No one. You'll see the real me. You'll see me through all my flaws. I am a shining star. Please, love me now. So, I'm getting going with my life. No more drama, no more tears. I won't let you ruin my life. I'm stronger. I'll survive. I choose not to feel hate for you. I have better things to do. My revenge is astonishing. Again, my revenge is astonishing. While you continue being you, huh, I'll take back my power. You can take back your power. I will be performing home from the legendary Wiz Broadway production.
Maybe there's a chance for me to go back Now that I have some direction It would sure be nice to be back home Where there's love and affection And just maybe I can condense time to slow up Giving me enough time in my life to grow up Time, be my friend Let me start again Suddenly my world's gone and changed its face But I still know where I'm going have had my mind spun around in space and yet I've watched it grow and if you're listening God please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see tell us should we run away should we try and stay or would it be The next song that I will be performing is called One Moment in Time by the legendary Whitney Houston.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Another round of applause for Mervyn. What a beautiful performance. It really touched all of us. Such a great performance, thank you. We'd like to welcome our next performer to the stage. Her name is Terica Florence, but we call her T Flo. She's an awesome woman. She's from Atlanta, Georgia, and currently lives in Philadelphia. She graduated from Gallaudet University. Her form of expression is poetry. She's written articles, essays for the deaf and hard of hearing community. She is amazing. I have to admit that, you know, I was starstruck when I first met her. This is the one and only. And I met her on social media, actually, before I met her tonight in person. And so today I felt as if, well, I've gotten to know her through social media. And then now in person, I feel like I'd already know her. I'm sure that's a familiar experience to all of you, right? So anyway, we are thrilled to see her tonight. And she is very supportive of the deaf world, the deaf community, and social justice, justice for all. And the words from T. Flo are just poignant and amazing. Oh, there's one more thing I want to add. We mentioned Gallaudet already, right? She did write things, but she never really performed on a stage, and I felt it was time to have her perform. She was, she was in my production. It was a deaf live poetry event 
welcomed her to the stage. And when I tell you, she took over that stage. She had no strange fright at all. Well, she doesn't have it anymore, right, Terica? Yep. All right, welcome, Terica Florence T. Flo. Hey, hey, everyone. Hey, hey, everyone. Hello, hello, and welcome to DC. I feel back alive because I am here on stage. This stage is my home, and I feel like I never want to leave here. So you may have to do some things for me to stay here, y'all. Y'all feeling me? So, yes, we're going to stay here tonight. Please, let's work hard for me to stay. So I wanted to do one of my poems, and it's called You're Coming to My Hood. I wrote this in the year of 2013. I was a college student at that time. I was so pissed with what was going on in my life at that time. And my other black deaf friends, I was seeing the same experiences. I was hot like lava. So I wrote this poem to express it. And it's actually extracted from the movie The Wizard of Oz. But let me come correct, the black version. All right, everyone ready? Hey, you, come on and follow me like you got to follow the yellow brick road. You have your red shiny Nikes, your Jordans. You can click them all the way because, actually, hold up. I'm sorry to interrupt you, breaking news. We ain't going to no Beverly Hills. You coming to my hood. So let's go for a walk. <gasps> We're walking on You Can Sign So Well Road. OK, wait a minute. <laughs> Is this where the people are shook up that we can sign so well? Oh, we're not going to assume that you, we don't sign as well as white folks. You telling me that we're supposed to be slow or what? Well, we ain't supposed to be like the crow just chilling on the scarecrow's arms. Nah, didn't think so. Let's get to moving. OK, oh, look, let's check out. I didn't know you were a major in ASL lane. OK. Wait, hold up. Please, somebody help me out here. Hi. <laughs> yes, I'm here. OK, wait, so you fixing to tell me that we ain't supposed to be an ASL teacher? So what you trying to say? What's our jobs going to look like? Should we be janitors, minors? Plumbers, mechanics? Oh, right, right, right. Cashiers at McDonald's, eh? OK, so we ain't educated. Got you. Got you, boo. No probs. Where is your heart for us? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> you need to steal it from Mr. Tin Man at his crib, since stealing is your hobby. Just saying. Oh, no disrespect. That's no disrespect, my friends. Yeah, but I don't really care either. OK. Mm -hmm. OK, so let's go to, oh my gosh, you're so smart, straight. Oh, oh, OK, OK, I, I, I see what you're saying. Mm, mm. All right, let me pause for a moment. Just, you know, I don't want to get ahead of myself. So you're saying that we're not supposed to be educated. I got it. So you see us chilling here on the stoops, and we're trying to just get our education. We're doing our thing. We're trying to read and write just like good old Mr. Booker T. Washington wanted us to. We're doing it. OK, OK. So you still think that we don't match your standards. So we're not supposed to read. You're telling us we don't sign as well as you all, or <laughs> you sign so well. Hello, everybody. Newsflash, beep, 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 beep. 
I'm no longer your slaves. I'm not your doormat anymore. I'm not your property either. Whatever else you want to call us, I am no more. I'm hoping you're vibing with me. And I'm going to say it again. I am no longer your slaves. I am no longer your doormats. And whatever else you wish to call me, whether that's property or whatever, I am no more. So it seems that, like Maxine Waters, <laughs> you know, we are reclaiming our time. So I'm going to add that. We are reclaiming your intelligence. We are reclaiming what is ours. So just because we sign, not like your oh-so-perfect English, we learn not from your schools. We learn right here on these streets. We simply don't understand you. The same that you don't understand our A-A-V-E. That's the American, African-American vernacular English. Oh, so I forgot. Oh, wait, you don't have brains at all. So I think you need to go back to the Dr. J at South Collapse Clinic for Need the Brain Boulevard. I ask you to do me a favor. Please, again, I'm going to repeat myself. Please visit Dr. J at the South the Clab Clinic on Needs Brain Boulevard. I suggest you go now, actually. Because right now, you sure do look like a fool. Give me a moment here. Wait, someone just called me. <laughs> Give me one moment. Let me take this call. Oh, okay. Yep, sure. No problem. No problem. Okay, I'm done. Hmm. I ask you this question. Where is your courage to accept that your ignorance destroys our self-esteem and our confidence? I just got a video call from the lion, and he said he needs his courage back because you're jacking it up oh so damn good. Hmm. Come on. Let's jump in my beautiful black Impala whip. We sitting here driving into the Highway 78. Again, I want to remind you, breaking news, we're not going to Beverly Hills. I'm not trying to get no ticket on my way there. If you want to go to Beverly Hills, you all can go on your own side drive, but not I. We are going to the community park in our hood where you will meet the elders who endured the obstacles to pave the way for us to have what we have today. Let that sink in. Fun fact. Our hoods have been here for centuries upon centuries. It has been here. And we have been doing just fine. We have been just fine. We were safe until you decided to come and destroy our homes. And you want to call our homes dangerous. <laughs> Whew, let me take a breather. Let me take a breather. But you know what? I'm not going to calm down. I'm putting it all out there. Black people and our people are true soldiers and survivors of each hop obstacle and hustles that you have thrown us thrown at us, and there ain't no stopping us. We are going to hustle, we are going to endure, and we are not going to give up on our dreams. It is our hopes, and our hood gives us a reason to have hope in this world that is oh so cruel and oppressive. Our hoods are our homes. 
Thank you for listening. Another round of applause for T Flo. Okay, she's not finished. We want to hear more from you, T Flo. We want to give you another round of applause. I thought my 15 minutes of fame was over, everybody. You're calling me back up here. <laughs> Thank you very much for that beautiful poem. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, give a round of applause Thank you for, for listening. T-Flo. Thank you, everyone. Wow. All right. Next, our third artist for this evening really needs no introduction, but I'm going to introduce him anyway. He is an internationally renowned artist. Truly. He is a singer. He is deaf. He has been a musician since 2005, specializing in, uh-huh, yep. Hip hop, hip hop and rap. We're talking about you. All right. I'm uh -huh. sorry, dip hop. Oh, That's what I meant to say. I stand corrected. Dip hop. Dip hop, uh, and this is how he describes it, right? This is how he signs it, dip hop. Dip. Hop, yes. Dip hop is a deaf person's view. Deaf person's hip hop. I mean, it's wonderfully crazy music. And here is living proof, proof of a deaf musician, a deaf artist. He's a local of Washington, D.C., raised in this area. And also, he's a musician, he's an actor. He was on the TV show, Black Lightning. During the Super Bowl, he, uh, he signed the national anthem. He has had a spotlight of, flame, of fame shining on him. He needs no introduction, so let's just go ahead and welcome him to the stage, Ty. All right, let's show some love for Wawa. Yes, show some love, Wawa. What's up, beautiful people? How y'all doing today? Hmm. I'm gonna ask that again. What's up, beautiful people? How y'all doing today? Okay, because I want to make sure you guys are waking up right now because tonight you guys are gonna party with me. You're not gonna be sitting there, you're gonna be So, oftentimes people look at me and they say, you're kind of old to be performing. <laughs> Do you believe that? I don't. That's why I'm dope. <laughs> Good for Waiting. Go back. I know I ain't your cup of tea. What that means? That <laughs> now we got the right technical thing. Nothing, nothing. Coffee cream, please. Then I keep on chucking. Judging by the cover, taking re blank knocking. I'll be me. Hey. Yeah, I'm bucking. Old school daddy, yeah, I see you kind of loving it. Got my CI in my hand, do the talking. I'm a late bloomer, but y'all got your head bobbing. Check my lovely grill, y'all. Banana ice cream. Salt and pepper here, y'all. I'm kind of spicy. I'm kind of weird, y'all. But you like me. Say it. I know you want to say. 
said, yeah, I'm kinda dope. Yeah, I know I got the glow and the flow. Pick your mouth off the floor, yeah, I spoke. Never gonna hear me say it twice, but I'm nice. I bring spice to your life. Wait, if he can hear how you rap, cause the logic done crack, but he slaps. Oh my god, snap that. At the age, I'm the age, only one. How am I supposed to act like the roller coaster? Yeah, yeah. let's go. Death boy rock. You know. From the bottom to the top, we go. Out of sight, get in mind. Say it, I know you wanna say it, yeah, I'm kinda dope. Yeah, I know I got the glow and the flow. Pick your mouth off the floor, yeah, I spoke. Never gonna hear me say it twice, but I'm nice. I bring spice to your life. Dumb flip, dumb flip, can't grip. You slip, don't trip, nah, nah. I'm lit, lit, lit. Dumb flip, dumb flip, can't grip. You slip, don't trip, nah, nah. I'm kinda weird, y'all. But you like me? Say it, I know you wanna say it, yeah. I'm kinda dope. Yeah, I know I got the glow and the flow. Pick your mouth off the floor, yeah, I spoke. Never gonna hear me say it twice, but I'm nice. I bring spice to your life. Say it, I know you wanna say it, yeah. I'm kinda dope. Now, since we got a nice introduction, <laughs> she's ready. Are you ready? Good, because this one, you're going to be dancing with me. I'm going to be teaching you a dance. Oh, get out. Mm. So, what I'm going to do is just teach you a dance. Simple kind of dance. Easy. I think. <laughs> so, what you want to start with, your legs together. And then you're going to do four counts. You're going to go one, two, three, four. Let's try that again. I typically say five, six, seven, eight, and you start to move. And five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay. How many of you sing and dance in the shower? Stop lying, I know many of you do this. You be in that shower, shower, me with your love. Someone open up that door, ah! I want that. So, you in a club, you dance like this, no tomorrow. Let's try this again. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Great, but it's not done. Next part is called the sailor squat. Looks like this. Okay, don't be so surprised now, okay? I will break it down before you start looking like you're ready to have a heart attack. Okay, this is what you do. Simple, hop on one foot. Switch. Together, go down, down, like you have to go to the bathroom. Pop up, okay? Not bad. So let's go from the top. I'm going one, two, three, four, and the sailor squat. Five, six, seven, Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great, not finished. We're going to do four. A circle. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Then the opposite. Five, six, seven, eight. Simple, right? We'll work on that. Next part, you want to jump. What in the world is that? Watch. Move your body. Do not do this. That doesn't work. So you jump and roll your body up. Then jump to the other side. Great. Next part is my son's favorite move. It's called Mr. Jiggle. And it's simple. Come on. Ah. So, next question is, what's the sign for work? Oh, I signed it. <laughs> so it's work. Oh, work, 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 and then clap, clap, clap. So, you think you memorized this? <clears throat> Let's start from the top, start. Five, six, 
seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, squat, spin circle. One, two, opposite. Jump, jump, jiggle. And you said you don't remember this, lie. Now, remember for this, <laughs> this dance is enough exercise to last you for five years guaranteed. <laughs> and if you don't understand, I'll be able to toss in any of these turpitas for $49.95. <laughs> okay? And it's coach Ty. Are you ready for a workout now? Welcome to Wawa Workout. First, you're gonna watch me. Watch. Really, welcome to Wild Wild Workout. And that's for you to go crazy. You went semi advanced dance watch class me, now, watch. so watch. pay attention. Go on. Now we need to cool down and go, oh, no, no, I'm done too talking. Just, just sit down. <laughs> Take your pause. Feel it from here. You're breathing. You okay? You awake now? Five years guarantee. Okay? <clears throat> Next one. It's based on the true story of what happened to me when I was six. So what I'm going to do right now, my voice is going to turn off. And one of these beautiful people are going to for me. Okay, I was about six years old. And growing up in Philadelphia, my, I didn't have a dad growing up. He wasn't in my life. And the last time I saw my dad, I was about six years old. And you know, sometime you have a a memory that really scars you. You may have had an awful experience, that trauma. So this song is about that one moment in time. 
So I would like to showcase that to you guys today. I remember the stone stairs, I remember the cold stairs, I remember the cold air, I remember, I remember the darkness, no love it was heartless, the smell of smoke stained walls and my dad at the door looking at me like something wrong with me, never claimed me, cause he don't get me always play the 50, I was six years old, got dropped at my pops, mom had to go to the dock. For a checkup, like you've been causing problems. No, sir, listen to your mama. Yes, sir, you know how to work that TV. Yes, sir, good soul. Don't bother me. I don't have time to teach you. You don't act no sickly here. You heard me, boy, with that funny thing that's inside your ear. You heard me. I'm just thinking, please don't hurt me. Mama, please come back. He don't deserve me. guess what? I'm ready to let y'all know that none of this trouble will ever stop me. And for the deaf musicians out there, we are here to stay. This song is my new single on my album. This will be my fourth album. And this is called Unapologetic. And right now, it releases today, the album. And that's one of the songs from the album. And it's called Ain't No Stopping Me. Hit it. Let me see y'all wave y'all hands. Make way for the day. Come on, y'all. Yo, I'm here to stay. Come on. Set the stage to play. Ain't no stopping me. I pay the cost, they ain't running off. I got all the sauce, they ain't bumping off. Straight to the top, then I'm jumping off. Ain't no Let's talk about the game. Nah. Let's talk about the chain. Nah. Let's talk about the pain. Yeah, let's talk about the games. How we always overcame. Overcame. 
Mama said I make my own name. Oh, let's talk about the rain top with do do thing. I aim for the start, yeah, it's plain. Yep, let's add it on up, it's a chain. Yeah, I'm napping to the bank, yeah, I'm having. Yeah, I'm right back at cuff, you love the action. No, we ain't holding back, we make it happen. No biggie, no kids, we never capping. You should know a boss when you see one. See one. Maybe one day you can be one. Be one. If I ever pull up, it's a party. Next time I pull up, it's a rewind. No! Make way for the day. Come on, y'all. Yo, I'm here to stay. Come on. Hey, set the stage to play. Come on. My safe cash out, sell a safe house. Pop a shepherd crib, smelling like a steakhouse. On a beach with my lady, yeah, we laid out. Lion, tiger, bear, for my Gucci shade. She say Louis, but a Louis, she loved them, yeah. Wake up and get dressed, out to fly away. Shining like that boy in winter jam with a cup of cane. I feel the safe from the bottom of the top. I cook the scrape from the bottom of the pop. I got stabbed in my bottom of my socks, make it work. I make it work what I got. You should know a boss when you see one. One day you can be one. If I pull up, it's a party. Next time I pull up, it's a rewind. Make way for the day. Come on, y'all. Yo, I'm here to stay. Come on. Hey, set the stage to play. Come on. Step out so clean like some soap on my shoes. Making the bank cause I broke all the rules. All these new hundred, I know we can't lose. It look like I got the blue. Step out so clean like some soap on my shoes. Breaking the bank cause I broke all the rules. I pay the cost, ain't it running off? I got all the sauce, ain't it rubbing off? Straight to the top, then I'm jumping off. I pay the cost, ain't it running off? All the sauce ain't it rubbing off. Straight to the top, then I'm jumping off. <laughs> Make way for the day. Come on, y'all. Yo, I'm here to stay. Come on. Hey, set the stage to play. Come on. I'm taking off, y'all. Nan says, wait, God. Done out of time, y'all. Blessed by the best, y'all. Yeah, come and get it. Make way for the day. Come on. How many of you love going to the nightclub? I know half of y'all lying. What about a house party? You know, remember going out to the club, having a good time? How many of you guys do that? Raise your hand, don't <laughs> lie. Some of y'all are fake raising y'all hands. Mm -hmm. I do it at home. How, have a house party at home. So the next song is called Cool, dopey love. I'm 50 Cent in the club, wow, wow. but I put up on dubs. Tesla. She don't want no scrub. Good thing I got a little buzz. Phone party going crazy, going nuts. You can smoke, you can drink, we do us. I was gone on the party bus, and they do this whole party for us. Get lifted, don't be love twisted. I ain't love her cause she independent. Bet you throw a fit if I don't spend it. But they love her that I ain't mentioned. I ain't know she don't care about you, you. I swear all she want is me for oh, now. Maybe I'm blind. Hey baby, cause you let me see. I just wanna find a way with you. To get away with you. Could I stay with you? Could I stay with you? I'm 
When it's appropriate, the, the appropriate next song is called Gotta Go. In the clouds, I'm a pilot. On the water, I'm a pirate. On the streets like you haul my passport stamp go too long. No way you could tell me no. In a cold world like an Eskimo. I love it when the top go low. I'm dipping to the dark go go. Don't care if the cops are chasing. Chase where none gonna catch me. Catch me, catch me. My mind is racing. racing. God don't bless me. I didn't know I could make it. Make it, make it. But I did it just to make it. Make it, make it. Don't fake it till you make it. Uh, tip on my tongue, I got a taste. Of the toy, yo. Don't stand still, this is your life. I love mine, I need more life. Peace out. Adios, y'all. 
Watch me go. Watch bye bye bye. 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 You know. with me a little bit. Hey. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. And make sure you get my fourth album called what? Unapologetic. You can get it on Apple, iTunes, and all different music streaming platforms. Show me some love. <laughs> Show him some love, everybody. Thank you so much, Wawa. Wawa, you know what? Think about his name, Wawa, right? It's hot, look at that. Wawa. <laughs> Thank you so much again. Let's hear it for Wawa. All right. Yeah, let's hear it for him. Let's hear it for him. Show him some love. Oh. Let's see it. We have one performer left. He's the last on the lineup, but of course, certainly not least. He's from Los Angeles, California. He flew in to the DC area and is here with us to perform for you. I'm sure you're all wondering who the performer is, right? Wow. Who does not know our next performer? Hmm. Looks like we're going to have to tell them who, tell them, tell everyone who it is. The one and only CJ. Give it up, everyone. CJ has been involved in the deaf community for a long time. But you also see him very active in the hearing world, the entertainment world as well. He's someone that you really can't explain because he's, he has been able to open many of the doors that we have been able to pass through. Like many years ago, CJ has been a performer for a very long time and has pioneered the past for many of us. And I'm sure you've already seen him in a number of movies. Baby Driver is one example. It made a huge impact. That was only was that in 2020 or 2018, Ty? That was three years ago, four years ago? Oh, it was in 2017. You just let me know. So there may be a part two, so keep an eye out for it. And he's also in a movie next year. That's Avatar 2, everyone. Avatar 2! Have you seen Avatar? All right, this is the second Avatar that will be released next year. Wow, he is amazing. And he's got his own very unique way of communicating. Yes, he does. Without further ado, welcome to the stage, CJ Jones! Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, they're setting up, they're setting up. Okay, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, baby, cow, dog, cat, whatever they're out there, I'm colorblind. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good night. <laughs> I knew you were alive for no reason. <laughs> well, 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 well. What a lovely evening out there in D.C. No flies around. That I love about it. Good. Good for you guys. That means you keep yourself clean. Hello, my beautiful interpreters. 
Steve Bob away. <laughs> you don't want to hear me fart today. <laughs> Bob, you can't kiss my all. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, what do you want? What do you expect me to do tonight? To give you a performance? Huh? Oh, oh my God. This lady want me to trip. <laughs> You're in the wrong club. <laughs> it's in that building. <laughs> Shame on you. But it was a nice idea. <laughs> well, like it, they said that I've been performing all my life since I was a baby. Hey, daddy, poo -poo. My daddy said, ah. Oh. Not a god, but daddy has their nose. What's the problem? <laughs> now, let me tell you something. While I speak and sign at the same time, I'll give you some little story because when I was born, I was hearing person. Mm -hmm. My parents are dead. And all my brothers, two sisters, they're all hearing. So our first language was sign language. So naturally, I sign and speak at the same time. Blah, 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 And no problem, right? Until seven years old, I became very sick. Boom, beep, boom, ah. Like it, cha, 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 cha. The good thing about here, we get a lot of shots. I had my bones. <laughs> I don't have to say anything. You can see fish war. <laughs> you hearing people can't catch it on. Because from time to time, I'm not going to say any word. You figure it out. If you can figure it out, you can say. <laughs> this is the performing for deaf, hard of hearing, and non signers. That makes it what? Inclusion. Oh, sorry, I'm mouthing too much. Okay, that's how I grew up in Italian. Blah, 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 blah. I went to the oil school. You went to oil school? Really? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, me, me, but you signed. That's right. Back then, my parents didn't know where they put me in a school. So they put me in an oil school. Hello, my name is CJ. What's your name? Ooh, that was a hard part for me because I had to put it in the people's face. That part, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk with people. Put it put it in, put it Oh, people go, oh, huh? yeah, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, put oh, she bad. I know there are some kids out here, so if you see that thing, bleep, then you know the difference. I can sign but they don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, now, the interpreter is very anxious to interpret it for me. Is that right? Yes. Say it loud, come on. Yes. Good, my hearing aid is working, okay. <laughs> All right, now, 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 now. Here I go. Hey, we have to go see the new show. You're going to really enjoy this show. What for? Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. Really, don't ask me what for. Just be patient and enjoy the show. You're going to enjoy it. You will. Trust me. But what for? Why do we have to go see the show? Why do you keep asking me all over again? What part don't you understand? I don't understand why we're going to watch the show. It's going to be boring. How many times do I have to tell you just relax and watch the show? That's what I'm saying. We're going to some different places with so many hearing people. I don't care. No, but there's going to be deaf people there. They're going to be signing funny shows. Is it really funny? Yes, it's really funny. But why do I have to go? Here you go again, asking me again. Then I looked up and saw my mom with smoke coming out of her nose. She was infurious. She said, how do you know? Because you have smoke coming out of your nose. I think I better stop asking what for, huh? Sit down and watch the show. Sit down and watch the show. You were cracking up. See, you en you're enjoying it, aren't you? I don't care. <laughs> and that's how I grew up. 
asking what for, and I don't care. But heck, never again. I love each and every show that I go to. Someone, someone asked me, do I want to see a show? I say yes, and I watch all different types of shows. But first, the very first time that I was inspired growing up, going to shows was that moment. My oldest brother took me to go each and every weekend to Mississippi. And in Mississippi, there's a river. And there's also a steamboat, Mississippi River boat. So they invited me, so we would go, and I really enjoyed that. And my brother was really an expert at tap dancing. He could shuffle and flap and everything. So as he's dancing, and at that time, I must have been about eight years old, and I didn't have any hearing aids or anything at that time, and I'm just watching him tap dance. He just seemed so happy, so much joy. You can just see it in his face. So let me back up some. People don't really realize that if you take your children to see so many different things and see the world, that's more powerful than just words. You can provide them art, give them inspiration, foster creativity, and that will sink into them. And it also builds up their self-esteem. It's like a light that goes on. So a good idea is to use miming. So as they're miming, the boy is just cracking up watching the mime. Then I opened up. He mimed to earn money. So money was growing. And my brother said, hey, we can earn some more money. You earn more money than me. So from that point on, I started writing and, be and getting creative. And never one time did I say, I'm deaf and I'm limited. No, I didn't do that. I wanted to be somebody. I wanted to be successful like any other person. I, didn't, I wasn't worried or concerned about me not being able to hear or me not being able to speak like you. I wanted to perform for the world. Now that's how I was thinking from a child. And I grew up to be so assertive, and you get rejections all the time. I'm like, why can't they just accept me for who I am? I am CJ. And I just so happen to be black and deaf, and skinny, and a 98-pound football player. <laughs> they couldn't catch me. They called me road runner. I'm gone. Yeah. They couldn't touch me. I was the only thin one. And then the only clean one. Everybody else had dirty uniforms. You could see their friends walking down like this. <laughs> yep. So you may ask, what is this box for? And this is a place where I felt really down and depressed. And I felt like I hit a brick wall. I had no place to go. So I would go to my box. And I would bring my beautiful interpreter over, who would be your signers for this. Her name is Letitia. <laughs> She's been traveling since I've been in diapers. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, so excuse me, I hear airplane. Is that an airplane over top of us? Excuse me, airplane, go this way, not this way. Interrupted my performance. <laughs> Good job, interpreter. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a bonus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Now, this is called the CJ station. Now, this is where I begin all my creativeness when I'm working on a new project. It all comes through this box. You ready? So I'm just going to say a few things that mean absolutely nothing. But for the hearing people, just join in. And this is good for both worlds to see visual and audio.
Now that is my expression. Now that really helps me get through my days. Now, growing up, going to Duff schools, and being creative, involved in plays, and on every Wednesday, we would go to the Literary Society, and then we would read books. And then from the books, we would put on a show on stage in sign language. And the audience would really enjoy the shows, but from the stories they read, but it was translated into ASL. Now, Literary Society, in translating those stories into sign language, I started to create my own stories. I said, hey, teacher, I want to create my own stories. I don't want to use the book. And they loved it. And they loved it. And that helped me develop my talents and my skills. I became very assertive. I do it myself. Shoot. I did it myself. Why? Because people out there can deaf people write. <laughs> Uh, can deaf people write? That was back then. Can deaf people achieve their education? Of course. So I prove through action. Writing, play, expression, inspire people of all ages. From elementary to all the way to nightclub. <laughs> yeah. Let me give you some more narrative. Hey, I went to Africa. I went to Japan. I went to. What's that? What's that? That's Bermuda. That's a sign for Bermuda. So I've been all over the globe. And in Africa, you will find the most beautiful and the most primitive people. And they have taught me that humans, they taught me what human values are. We take for granted the electricity and the things that we have. A lot of them over there are, are bare feet. And they work really hard. They may walk 10 or 20 miles to go to work to bring water back to the hut. And we are spoiled <laughs> compared to that. On the other side, it was also fun. You would go to those places called Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls, have you been there? Have the beautiful waterfalls that happens every day. They have beautiful rainbows that appear every day, 24-7. It's beautiful. You got to go if you haven't been. You have to visit. So our friends of our, some friends of ours, we decided to go on a safari trip. Some deaf people of ours, we went on a safari trip. So it was about two days until we had a shower and we had major body odor. DJ, what? La 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 la. La 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 la. Why you don't get la 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 la? We get your attention. La 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 la. Okay, now, what la 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 la? That, la 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 la. I feel like you're a broken racket. That's what I meant. You feeling? You see something? La 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 la. I love you. That. Whoa, bungee jump. Woo! Bungee jump is the highest jump in the world. These people are crazy. Jump. The second person. Third person. Did you hear? No, I don't think so. I think heart attack. <laughs> so, you say, look, 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 what? You show me, thank you, Sean. Can you? 
Can I? <laughs> Chicken feet for sure, pulling down there. <laughs> that's right, that's a new with you. Funny, 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 you. Why don't you repeat the same word? Because I want your attention. I couldn't dance that guy for the three weeks I suffer. He even dreamed in the tent, everyone said. You hear when he said, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, oh. What are you yelling at? I don't know. Maybe call a lion, come over and watch that, eat him up. Yeah, let's do that, let's do that. Open up, open up, open up. Wait, wait, no lion can. I don't like that one. Wait, right, back to the toilet one. Right, come on, bro. Line up. Now, you hearing people will notice that I speak broken English. Because I wanted to get the idea that English or no English, it doesn't matter. What you see is what you get. So, hi, oh, my man. He's the guy that the help put it all together and put you some down. Deep, wow. So, you ready? Um, no, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> no, it's okay. When you jump, and the bathroom is going to evaporate. What? No, no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's tall. Okay. Okay. Come on, come here. He put a rope on me. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. I was on a plank. What? Wait. Down, two, two bridges, boom, 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 and I have a rope on me, and now my heart ready to jump out of my mouth. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I forgot my heart, my heart. Well, what am I doing next? Oh, wait, 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 you have a hearing aid. I, 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 let me have it, let me have it. Okay, here we are. Uh, okay, I was three, five, four, three, two, one. Did I put you got that? Oh, wow, now I'm hearing very good. I can hear you. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, ready, ready. Five, four, boom, 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 boom. So it was the highlight of my life. It taught me no fear. Now I'm on the stage. I have no fear. I love to entertain you. It taught me to be yourself. Like an interpreter tonight, he forced you for me. You're being yourself. You become like me, my brother. I love you. Yeah. Love you. 23 hours a day. One hour, I need love for myself. <laughs> Tisha, come on, the boy. Give an applause. <laughs> Let me tell you, no rehearsal. I just told him to get on the stage You do whatever I say. Did a good job, huh? You know why? She has no fear. She being herself. I love her already. 2223. <laughs> okay, now while I was playing, you all feel it? Yes? Good, good, good. Okay, good. wonderful. Thank you. Where'd she go? <laughs> Who told you to go? Sure. I like her better than Vanessa White. From Jeopardy. She's hot, huh? She's hot. I'm ready. I'm going to quote Are you beautiful? And you all say yes after me. Wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. I see your hair, but don't, don't, don't promote, please. 
All right, three, two, one. Woo, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. You know why I played it for you? Because you are beautiful. You are beautiful. You are the one I love. You are beautiful. You should be proud of yourself. at Colorado event. So that event is called Barriers. No Barriers. Oh. So I, what? I want to provide a quote. What's inside of you that what is stronger than what is in your way. So what does that mean? Within, Within you, you are stronger stand. because you can stand straight up. Stand and believe. You can st stand up and believe to what's right. And part of my life, growing up, I had to dream. No one dared tell me no or take my dream. Mine. In you yours, you can have a dream. Who will take it? If you Nobody. have a dream, who would take that dream? Who Nobody. Dares who dares take to take your dream away know. from you? You know who I'm talking about. It doesn't matter if you're deaf, if you're hearing, what color race you are. It doesn't matter. The time that you stand up and speak your mind, the time is so precious. Your your skills, time. your talents. No, because, no, because, no, that no, is what's going to get you to, to your dream. No. Don't no. let anyone tell you different no. to give up on that. No, you have to fight Maybe through. Come I have to really life. push and break down the door to make my dreams come true, to even be in a film. When I got, when the, I got email the email, from I got the email from, um, from Paramount Pictures. Mm -hmm. They contacted me via email, so as I'm pulling up the email, you know, sometimes when you get an email that's a strange email, you're not sure if it's junk mail or not or spam, somebody trying to get you. So I took a gamble and I called and sure enough, they said, hello, CJ, I'm happy that you called. I would like you to come in for the audition for, for Baby Driver. And the director would like to see you audition. I said, wait, 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 how do you know my name? They said, oh, CJ, do you remember 10 years ago when you came into my office and auditioned? I had your name here in my file. I said, what? What? 10 years ago, my name has been sitting there collecting dust, and I didn't even know this. It's been sitting there for 10 years. They said, CJ, you look the same. I said, yeah, of course I do, of course I do. I know I'll do. Okay. So let me back up some. I decided not to bring my interpreter that time. Why? Now, why did I do that? I wanted them to see me. 
me, my talent. A black death row? Here I am. Do I look 85 years old? No, maybe with makeup I can play that role. So, I came in. FYI, I won't look like that until a few more years later. But the first time they auditioned, they had cameras set up. And then we had a callback. And then I had a final callback with more of the director, assistant director, and whoever else the big wigs were. So, as I come in during that time, I had the assistant director, he was so cool. So everything was perfect. I'm gonna let you know. I didn't use my voice at all. I just signed throughout the entire audition. You know the hearing people didn't understand a thing I said. So let me back up some. So something like this, I'm sitting down. It's a true thing, true story. This was before COVID happened, mind you. Okay. Pre-COVID, there was no masks. I got this close to them. And they explained to me what I needed to do. I didn't have any lines or any scripts. I just improv and mime the entire time in my sign language. You know, I had two damn days to get ready for this. And I really loved it because they contacted me and I was on cloud nine, man. I'm telling you, I couldn't believe I met them. I couldn't believe I had a good audition. So that was two weeks before Christmas, two weeks before Christmas. And then on Christmas day, I found out I got the role. It, it was the best. And I had a Tesla car. It was the best gift. Two weeks passed by, and then I didn't hear anything, and I finally hear something. They said, hey, we have another audition for you. So I rush to get to the audition. I sit down, and I see everybody around at the round table, and I begin signing. The director came to me and said, I'm going to call you. We locked eyes. Then I just started to just laugh. You know me. You know me. I'm always on joke time. I like to make people feel good. That's what I'm trying to do with you all tonight. I want you all to feel good. Be yourself. I give it all to you. I love you all. I give my whole self to you guys. I want you all to feel good. So same thing with the director. I wanted them to feel good, whether I got the role or not. But I know that they were a wonderful person just giving me the chance, the opportunity to be there. So I left. Two days later, I got the role. <laughs> what? When you so again, what? what's within what? you is stronger than what's in your way. Don't let side what? distractions distract you. You have to focus and believe and get that opportunity and believe in yourself. So, so as I'm traveling over all the people love my shows and because of times I have to wrap this up. But there was one month left for my mom to come and watch me on the big screen. At that time, it was being released. And good thing, what was happening in August, they moved it to June. They moved the movie up. So I said, yes, perfect. My mom, my mom started to have some health issues, and her health started to decline. So I was unsure of not if it was going to happen. So I would never, never forget that last week of June. It was such a blessed time. My mom was able to come nine hours from LA to San Francisco. And I was able to bring my mom to the theater to watch the show. And this is my mom, and I'm right next to her. So when the movie started, my mom fell asleep. So I'm just saying, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait until I appear on the show. So when I'm on screen, I say, Mom, Mom, Mama, Mama. Oh. oh. I said, Mama, look, look. She said, Oh, you look so old. I said, Mama, no, no, no. This is just makeup and prosthetics for the film. 
I'm, this is my role. I'm supposed to look like that. Oh, baby, I'm so proud of you. You did wonderful, wonderful. I'm, I'm copying how my mother <laughs> expressed it to me. Ooh, her eyes just lit up until it was finished. So, the theater was full. And as we left the theater, people were coming up to me for autographs. So sure, I'm signing autographs. My mom just sat there and watched me sign autographs, smiling from ear to ear. Then I said, Mama, did you enjoy it? They said, oh, yes, baby, it was wonderful. The colors, everything was just wonderful. And it felt like I was back in the 20s. Mama wanted to get up and start her tap dancing. So I could just feel the energy. So this was a good moment to spend with my mom before she passed. So again, I was so happy and I was content. So again, what is in me is stronger than what is in your way. Never let anything or anyone stop you or prevent you or let them doubt you. Smack that hand out your way. You speak that into existence. You will be successful. Your dreams are your dreams. And your dreams are stronger. And I love you because of that. My brother. Show him some love, everyone. What an awesome performance, CJ. I don't have words right now. But before we wrap up, wait a minute. OK, here I am. All right, before we wrap up, we have a surprise, right? We do. OK. Should we show a picture of the artist first? No, I think that um, we should go in order, maybe. Let's see, CJ, bye. Thanks, CJ. CJ, it looks like CJ already left. Oh, we took care of that already, Ty. All right. I would like to thank you, the audience. I would like to thank the Kennedy Center. There are a lot of people who work to make this happen, including all of you who showed up tonight to enjoy this wonderful evening. Thank you. And you know that art needs patrons, people who appreciate the art. And we had some very fine performers tonight. Four fine performers. Mervyn? Mervyn, where are you? Mervyn! Mervyn, where are you? Mervyn, come forward. Mervyn, where are you? All right, let's hear it. Mervyn, thank you. Let's hear it for Mervyn. Let's see it for Mervyn. Mervyn, thank you. We want to acknowledge you. T Flow, come to the stage. Terica. And Wawa. Wawa. And last but not least, C.J. Jones. Oh, not you, oh. not yet, not yet. Just wait a minute. <laughs> that was the DJ. C.J. Jones. No, not we want C.J. Where is C.J.? And also our DJ, C. Or hear no evil. Did CJ disappear? Where are you, CJ? CJ, come on back over here. Get over here right now. Go to bed, go to bed already. Help me up, help me up. Yeah. What we do without you too? 
I'm here. I'm fine. Happy. And <laughs> don't pick up. Don't pick up. Coronavirus. Don't pick that up. Don't pick that up. Coronavirus. <laughs> Let's All do it right. for the performers. Truly, there is one more special visitor. Unannounced, right? Surprise visitor. We were just told that this person is here. Kayvon? Kayvon? All right. Yes. So. Kayvon wants, he wanted to perform. And I said, really? Okay, well, why not? He's a part of our next generation of artists, so we have to let him grace the stage, right? Teach them when they're young. And also with me and Voca, who will take over? Who will take the reins from me? Who knows? So I thought that we would give him the support that he needs in this moment. We will celebrate him tonight. He has a story that he's gonna share with you. I couldn't tell him no. I had to give him his moment. He'll have five minutes on stage. His five minutes of fame. Are you ready, Kayvon? All right. All right. My name is Kevon. And this is my sign name. And you want to hear my story about hockey? So I was on a hockey team, and we won our game. And we've been winning. And my friends, they lose their games. And my mom watches my games. And she has been going to every game. And sometimes, you know, I go to practice, and I practice my hockey. And I sometimes, it's challenging. There's some challenging things sometimes. Or, you know, if another, whenever you lose, that's tough. You know, you do win and you lose. Sometimes games are tied. Things like that happen. So whether I lose or I win, but my friends and I still we get to travel to different places. We fly to different places to play. We've gone to Frederick, we've gone to a lot of different places. We travel many times. And my coach watches me. My coach gets, gets mad at the game. I started playing when I was four, and my coach thinks I'm amazing. So when I was four, I told my dad that I wanted to play hockey. I said, I want to play hockey. I want to play hockey. My mom said, okay. So, okay. So let's get some skates, get a hockey stick, get the uniform. And I played for the team in Bowie, Maryland. So it was, it was a really hard game. We ended up losing that time. So in the morning, we had another game. And that game was also challenging. And I told my coach, I said, hey. I said, hey, I'm going to hockey practice since I've been four years old. But there's one thing about being four that's not such a good thing. So when I was four years old, I was in the first grade. And I do listen to my coach. And I'm learning a lot of things from my coach. And people like to watch me because I'm good at my sport. You know, it's, what do you call that? Like, um, you know, when you play hockey, what do you call that thing, that circular thing that, that you play with or that's... Um, what is that, what is it called? That black puck. And sometimes it has artwork on it or designs on the puck. Yeah, P-U-C-K. And that's what you use to hit with the hockey stick. And the hockey sticks are made out of wood, and they're really strong, too. 
Uh, wow, amazing. You know, you see that he's already got it in him, right? The gift for storytelling. Thank you, know, you thank you. Because I had asked Yvonne um, about a character in Shakespeare. If he'd had any experience with characters in Shakespeare, his response was Puck. So he's already got it, that artistic, that artistic bent. Bent. And we had a referee. Ah, yes. And they have helmets on. And the coach also has helmets. Yeah. And they have referees mm -hmm. at the game who yep. give penalties yep. if you're Gotta fired or if you penalties. break the rules. Got to make sure you follow those rules. So I have another game soon um, when school is out. OK. I thank you so much for your sharing your story with the audience. Wow, you were amazing. All right, and make sure you let me know when you have your next game. I want to come and support you. Thank you for sharing your story. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, everyone. Uh, good night. Uh, Kayvon says good night to you. So are you ready for the DJ to close us out? The DJ's coming back. Whoop, as Wawa did it. Stand to your feet and dance. So meet me on the floor where the ladies be. Who put the party in the frenzy? So meet me on the floor where the ladies be. Who put the party in the frenzy? So meet me on the floor where the ladies be. Who put the party in the frenzy? Me, me. So meet me on the floor where the ladies be. Wait, everyone, enjoy. Who put the party in the frenzy? Me, me. So meet me on the floor where the ladies what? be. What? Who put the party in the frenzy? Me, me. So meet me on the floor where the ladies what? be. What? Who put the party in the frenzy? Me, me. So meet me on the floor where the ladies what? be. No evil. Jigga man be bald. Yeah. 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 Yes, y'all. Jigga man be bald. Leave, leave chicks pigeon toe. Some of them be crawl. Get, get the best of you whenever I put my all in. Have mommies calling for the law. Darling, Jigga and Paulin. Ass drop. Coops with half the top. Spose half my knot. Nigga mad when I brag about the cash I got. But I'm used to not having a lot. I'm from the gutter and uh. I ain't the type to ever chase your box. I'm the type to interior decorate the watch. I'm the type to sling heavyweight on the block in every state like clock. No to hurt. Everybody ask me why I'm smiling. I'm from here to here. Everybody ask me why I'm smiling. I'm from here to here. DJ here, no evil.
I'm more than just an option. Hey, hey, hey. Refuse to be forgotten. Hey, 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 hey. I took a chance with my heart. Hey, 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 hey. When I feel it taking over, the girl joins your love. I better join your heart. I better find your love. I better find your heart. You'll find another. Hey, hey, hey. So every single summer, hey, hey, hey. I'll be the one that you remember. And I better find your love. That's a good chick. Before it's all over, I'ma meet this chick. Probably treat this chick more better. Cause if you ain't no thugs and ladies go together. Popping my collar, partner, who in the spot? Baby, ruling the spot. In the mug, in the watch. Up me. Half of y'all hate me, half y'all love me. The ones that hate me only hate me cause they don't trust me. And they say I'm lucky. You think I got time to blow all this dope and do all these shows? On flight in the llama charge and white world. Uh oh, another episode. To everybody that be living it up, we say. What? Unless they born in, uh, easy, call them on the phone and clap them Chanel cologne in. I stay dressed to impress, spark positive interest. Sex is all I expect as they watch TV in the Lex. They know, they know, quarter past four, left the club tipsy. Say no more, except how I'm getting home tomorrow. Caesar drop you off when he see it for eat. Uh. Back of my mind, I hope she will love me. Uh-huh. Man, she still the drink on my cream wallows. Reach the gate, hungry just ate. Riffin', she got to be to work by eight. That's me, she ain't trying to wait. Time for safe, sex is the first date. I stay, you know what you do to me. She starts off, but I don't usually. Then I, I hit the no doubt. Step out, show me what you all about.
Slide right to my side. I know she pulled up with a friend. Then we skirt off in the bands. Oh, took her back to my crib. And I regret it. She trying to feel like she asleep. Uh, so she tried to stay the whole week. I'm like, oh, nah, she gotta go. Uh, ask me her name. I swear I don't even know. They wanna know why the girl them dip on me. Them I ain't green. Them I ain't just sip on me. They wanna know why they love him up so much. Like, what is the reason? Oh, mm, it's just the vibe. I'm that guy. She put her legs in the sky whenever I pull up. She got her clothes off from the walk. And she won't waste no time. Oh, you don't want nobody else, I know. But I can't be what she wants. They all have the same story. They all want me to themselves. But I'm a jealous. The city is my palace. What I'm gonna do? Cause I want she and she and she. And they love them some me. <laughs> 